And we see that one coming across the box. He got a little bit of luck with the ball that came into him. But look, he's got stacks of time. I thought he might have taken a touch there and picked someone out. Might be a little rusty, Bobat. He has started only three Serie A games this season. Here he is now, Zwani Bobat! finish as well Peter took it very very early with the outside of his right foot good first touch took him away from defenders just cuts it back with the outside of his right foot give him Frey no chance whatsoever fabulous goal well he was their inspiration really in the Scudetto conquest towards the end of the 98-99 season and he has been their inspiration again tonight since coming on at half time Terrific chance just before this one, which has been set up by Beerhoff. Good ball in there from Beerhoff. For once, Laurent Blanc taken out of the game. There we see Boban, good first touch, but that's fantastic. Takes it very, very early. Frey can't get himself set, but it's back across the face of him into the far side. Outside the right foot, brilliant finish from Boban. Just the stuff that Milan needed. He has scored in the Italian Cup this season. That's his first in Serie A. Terrific stuff, wasn't it? It was a fabulous through ball. I think it was Di Biagio played the through ball. Come off the back of Rocco Jr. Vieri followed up. And these two young men in goal, I've got to say, Frey and Abiati have been absolutely superb this evening. Well, Abiati was Tardelli's first choice for the under 21s when they won the European Championships back in June. And he reminded him there of his undoubted class. Gattuso. Put under pressure, illegally so, by Jugovic. That's Vieri's chance, following it up. And again, a super save there from Abiati. Boban. Always seems so comfortable in possession. Shevchenko. Endeavouring to link up with Boban. As Bierhoff and Shevchenko almost going for the same ball there. Well, what a ball it was as well, Peter. That's a fantastic ball once again there from Coco. But unfortunately, Shevchenko and Bierhoff both under the same ball. So, a bit of a shame if one would have pulled off, that would have been a free header on goal. But a great ball in there from Coco. That was from Kova. Gattuso. Now Jugovic looking to launch the counter attack here. And some clever work from the Yugoslav. Sadov, empty old challenge coming in from Costa Curta. Bit unlucky there, I think, Billy Costa Curta. Looks as if he timed it perfectly. But they've looked better defensively, I think, Milan, since Billy's come on in the second half. He's an extremely accomplished defender, and uh, I think when he's there with his experience, they look a much better outfit. And presumably, like everybody else, you've no idea why he's called Billy. I wouldn't have a clue. No. Shots got through. Oh! What a goal! Oh! Di Biagio with an awesome strike. Fantastic. <laughs> what a shot. I think Abiati saying that he couldn't, he wasn't ready, he wasn't set. But Di Biagio didn't worry too much about that. What a strike. He was that's, ready. That's flown in. Well, they're bitterly protesting here, Milan. I think that's the case, Peter. They're, they're actually saying that they weren't ready for it. Uh, they were uh, the required distance away from the ball. That's the important thing from the referee situation. Di Biagio did the rest. What a fantastic strike. Abiati's distraught in the goal. He's picking up uh, some fruit or something here. Looks up and it's flown past him. Thomas Heldag again. Boban. Put that down superbly, Boban. And the danger has passed. Zanetti. Let's 
This is Oliver Bierhoff. Now Tripti. It was a good passer of the ball. Maldini and Shevchenko! Oh, it's a glaring miss by his very, very high standards. Almost an unbelievable one. It's an unbelievable miss, Pete. It's a fantastic ball in from Maldini. Just putting it in between that area between defender and goalkeeper. Shevchenko made a great run. And unfortunately, couldn't keep the ball down. It's a mile over the top of the crossbar. Not the happiest night for Shevchenko. Well, the truth, he's not had that many openings, has he? But He's been marked very tightly, Peter. I think Simic has done a wonderful job on it. Gattuso. Not too casual, though, with his distribution. It's Jetty who's won it back for Milan. And now Coco again racing away down that left side. Laurent Block to stab it away, and then Diviaggio is far too cool. Oh dear, Jutti who fired it in. Uh, poor play from Diviaggio on the edge of his own penalty area. Needed a bit of information there from Laurent Block. Master Corta, not a threat from Vieri. But Abbiati is there. Now releasing Maldini. Save the derby by Coco to Gattuso. See what Paolo Maldini did there. He gave the ball to Coco and then ran into his space. He's got to allow uh, Coco to have the opportunity to have a one against one because that's where the main threat from Milan is coming from. Rocca Junior. So just looking to soak this up, but it's Junti with a chance to cross in a very dangerous. Golf ball's coming in from a better angle, and uh, people have got better chances to get across the front of people. There's a fantastic ball in from Junji from the edge of the penalty box, but Bierhoff, a magnificent header of the ball, gets across the front of his defender, and it's in the back of the net, two apiece. And I think deservedly so as well. well. You can see from his expression there what that goal means to Oliver Bierhoff, who has been going through a lean patch. Now we see the ball coming in there from Junji, it's a magnificent ball. Poor market, Chirillo's called out there, he's not got with him at all. And there's Bierhoff getting across the front of him. Just a little nick, Sebastian Frey has got no chance. A great goal from Milan's point of view, from Inter's point of view, they'd be very disappointed with the defender. His first ever goal in the Milan derby. And he has set up a thrilling finish now to the relief of Zaccaroni. Of course, Enter, who brought Bierhoff over to Italy back in 91 from the Austrian club Salzburg. He never played for the Nerazzurri, he had four seasons with Ascoli before making his mark with Udinese and then Milan. Sanchenko. He wouldn't rule out him having a final say either. Well, Boban wants this one, I think. Again, I think it's the first time Shevchenko has been able to turn Simic. Did so very well as well, showed a lot of strength, upper body strength, and Simic could do nothing more than pull him down. All eyes on Zvonny Boban. Scorer of the Lads first. Can't be so innovative from free kicks. It's very back in that defensive wall. Are we yet in for more late drama here? Pulsating clash really right from the start. Monte doing his best to retain order. And the wall will have to go further back. At last we're ready. It's Shevchenko. It hasn't got through, but now it's Thomas Helbig. He's got his cross away, and it's behind for the corner kick by Farinos. That was a poor first touch from Helbig, but it was a brilliant cross when he finally got it back in. Well, Farinos there was a, that was a super header to get it away, but uh, Inter really coming under some heavy pressure now. Bobat with the corner. A 
It's only partially away. It's Heldek now. Coco was one option for him. Laurent Brock to head it out. Brocky. Now Di Biagio. Comes Catuso again. My word, he's covered some ground. Chirillo. What's he doing up here? That's the answer. Maldini to find Coco. Well, cut and thrust now in the last few minutes. Farinos for Inter. Twice they've gone in front, twice they've been pegged back. Vieri for Jugovic. Just can't wriggle free. And a break might be on here for Milan. Bierhoff. Good movement from Bobat to make it sharp available. Suddenly Inter are back on the defensive again. Shevchenko! Super first touch, the second not good enough. You're quite right, Pete. Fantastic first touch from Shevchenko, who just couldn't keep it down on the volley. But a great move there from AC Milan. Di Biagio. Not there what he intended. And rather wasteful for him, he's uh, not an exceptional pass for the ball. Stoppage time. Junti. Bilhoff and Shevchenko have both made runs ahead of him. This is Coco, the outlet down the left. This is Pietro Ockett, Shevchenko now. Couldn't get away from Simic. And that has been the story for the most part of his evening, really. Taz, uh, Simic is marching very well indeed. Been a very tough evening for Shevchenko. But he stuck at it, that was a good run from him down the left-hand side. And uh, they get the corner. Maldini's up, Rock Junior is up. Junti, up by Brock. Well, he's on a knife edge now. Thomas Helding. Milan's still going for it, but then so are Inter. Costa Curta holding his nerve against Rakova. To have the free kick. Just held him off in the end, then cost a quarter. They are so aware of the threat that Makova poses, especially from free kicks. Nothing can be ruled out. <laughs> but he won't have the chance because it's all over. Well, it really has been gripping fair. He's played his part to the referee to uh, keep it flowing. Milan to Inter to it's one first one way then the other. But we have had tremendous entertainment, Greg Wilkins in the San Siro. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it, Peter. We've seen four fantastic goals. We've seen a game that's played at a very, very high tempo and some fantastic individual performances as well. No more so than Lauren Blanc there in your picture. And uh, really an exceptional game. Thoroughly enjoyed it.